when the show got going, what was the moment, what was the event where you realized this was something big, this is going to be bigger than throughout Return of the Mill show? When I found out I was coming back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I did the miniseries and that was it for me. And I, I was excited about that. I was like, miniseries was amazing. I get the hero shot at the end, I get the planet, the planet blows up, you know, everyone remembers Hilo. And then, uh, I think I went, yeah, I went, I went directly into another series, a Canadian series. So for me, Battlestar was done. And uh, near the end of that show, I think I, I had enough time to go to pilot season. And then I remember having a horrible week of auditions. And then I got, to, I got a call from the executive producer of, of the Canadian series I was doing, he's like, sorry buddy, we're done. And I was like, okay, this week is probably going to get a lot worse. And of course it did, I had a couple more uh, horrible auditions, and uh, I was questioning whether I should still be doing this, and then I got a call from Ron Moore, and he's like, listen, I got this great idea, you're going to be running around on the planet for a season, you're still alive, you got radiation poisoning, but it's going to be amazing. He's like, yeah. <laughs> are you interested? And I'm like, let me get back to you, Ron. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was ecstatic, so. That's when I got excited about the show. <laughs> um, when did we get excited about the show? When did I get excited about the show? Well, I was fortunate enough with David to work with Ron on Deep Space Nine. <laughs> and um, we had heard that Ron had done Battlestar Galactica, and we had both known Richard Hatch and seen the original Battlestar Galactica. And we were wondering what Ron would have done with it. And we got a chance to go see the, uh, the premiere at the Director's Guild of the first two hours of the miniseries. And we didn't have a job at the time. We just said, well, you know, it's Ron. We haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> and let's go down and see what he's doing. Hey, wait, it's Battlestar. Um, if I were in Daggett and Sound Explosions, and you know, it was great back in 76 or whatever it was, but hey, it is Ron. So we got there, and there was Ron. And he had a big smile on his face, and he ran over, Hi guys, how's this going? You have to tell me what it's, what, whether it's any good. And we went, Oh, all good. <laughs> Put a big smile on our face and hoped that we could duck out afterwards because we saw the original and we didn't have high hopes <laughs> and I'm sitting next to David on the inside as we watched the first 10 minutes of the, of the miniseries and we went this is really good <laughs> and about a half hour to an hour and said this is great <laughs> and when we came out we found him and Ron had done this whole map a whole manifesto about why Voyager and the whole Star Trek thing had run its course and what he could have done, what what you should go to the next step in science fiction should be. And David walked up to Ron and said, you did it, man. <laughs> and yeah, he had. So we knew he had something beautiful at that point. Um, I would like to expand upon that experience because I felt exactly the same way at the screening of the miniseries, which I had been involved in. Um, but I've seen a lot of good pilots, a lot of series that start strong and, and then don't go as strong. For, for me, it was seeing the first five minutes of 33, which I think <laughs> that sent, it was like a warning shot across the bow that this show was not going to back down, this show was not going to compromise, or if anything, it was going to be even more risky and dangerous and risk-taking than the miniseries had been. And the idea that, that we could start as strong as a miniseries and, and improve on it and get even deeper and more, and more dynamic and more interesting, that I knew watching those first five minutes that, that uh, this show was going to be something really extraordinary. Up on you guys. I came in on season two, so I got a call saying, are you interested in working on Battlestar Galactica? And I hadn't been paying attention, and I didn't know it was on the air. And so I said, really? Somebody's redoing that? And so they sent me the mini plus the first 12, and we did the whole Portlandia thing. Yeah. And we, we sat there with my wife, we put in the first one. 
we'll just watch one and then I can turn it down. And uh, we watched them all the weekend. I called them back on a Monday and said, please, 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 uh, can I work on this show? And uh, it was really a fantastic creative experience working with everybody here. For Rad and I were uh, when when uh, Ron asked us to write our first one, Act of Contrition, and it dealt with Kara training new Viper pilots and how that brought her back to her memories of Adama's son, and Zach, and how she betrayed him by passing him when she shouldn't have. So the first scene, first draft of the script, Brad and I wrote scenes where Kara talked to people about. Oh, I shouldn't have passed him, and I feel guilty, and because that's that's way it always been done in conventional science fiction shows. We didn't we didn't think we had a freedom to do it another way. And Ron said, No, no, why don't you do a flashback? Go back into the past. Let's explore the relationship. So then we the next draft we wrote full self-contained flashbacks. We're like, Wow, we get to do this, <laughs> and so we did that, and we felt liberated. And then Ron said. Well, they don't have to be self-contained flashbacks. Maybe they're just snippets and moments. And she brushes her ear, and that reminds him of brushing uh, when it reminds her of when Zach brushed her ear. And, and we started to then suddenly the whole thing was cracked open. That we could do flashbacks upon flashbacks and stream of consciousness. It was this was a whole other ball game in terms of writing, and we were just set free. Uh, that that was the moment for, for that was a big moment for me. Woo! I was developing a miniseries with David Icke uh, for Sci-Fi, um, which you will never hear about <laughs> during the first season. Uh, and I had no like Mark, I had no idea about Battlestar, and we'd spend months trying to satisfy. It. The executives at Sci-Fi with this miniseries of many months of work and basically making no money, and when they finally decided not to make the miniseries, I turned to David and said, I need some cash, man. We got going. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he says, well, come and do this bad star thing. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, you know, you all know what's on the screen, but for me, um, it was the greatest work experience of my life. Uh, as dark and uh, as nasty and as angst-ridden as the show can get, the set was teddy bears and daisies. <laughs> <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking at a row of lifelong friends, and that's rare in television. And, and plus all the other people who work on it. And uh, the, the second day of shooting, when I realized that everybody in this production, from the people in the office, the drivers, the cast, the crew, were, had an enormously ambitious work ethic, um, were at the top of their game, and all they wanted to do was help each other. I called David Icke and I said, I don't know quite how to put this, but I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you have, I'm not leaving, I'm just, this is, I, you know, I'm home. And uh, thank God he agreed with me and I stayed for the rest of the, the show. Um, I'll tell you something, here's, here's something, I, I've worked in the outside television for a long time. And on every other show I've worked on, the morning after the show airs, everyone comes to work and they say, so how do we do? What were the numbers? Did you see the numbers? How do we do against CBS? Did we go up in the second half hour? That's what everyone talks about. Bad Star, that, you never heard that. You heard, did you see what happened to Starbuck? <laughs> do all the blue brains out. Oh, yeah. this, was a, this was a show made by fans. Fans of the show. It was a delightful experience. <laughs> 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 <laughs>